Greetings and welcome to the second episode of the Math Olympiad Lecture Series. Today's lesson is on the topic of last digits. The objective of this lesson will be for students to be able to evaluate the last digits for large numbers expressed in the form of a to the power of n. So let's jump straight to the first of today's math problems. Find the last digit of 2012 to the power of 2017. Some quick definitions. This way of writing large numbers is called index notation. 2012 here is also known as the base, and 2017 can either be called the power, the index, or an exponent. What it means is to multiply 2012 by itself 2017 times. I'm going to ask you to pause the video here to try this question. Once again, 2012 to the power of 2017 is quite a large number. Calculating it comes out to 15,344 digits. Fortunately, we are only interested in the last digit. So one strategy that we can employ to solve this problem is to first reframe it. It turns out when you want to multiply two numbers together, the only numbers that matter in working out the last digits of the product are the last digits of the multiplicand and the multiplier. So if we want to work out the last digit of 2012 times 2012, we should only focus on 2 multiplied by 2 that gives us 4. Similarly, if we want to work out the last digits of 2012 cubed, we can just look at the last digit of 2012 squared, which is a 4, multiplied by the last digit of 2012, which is a 2, and that gives us a last digit of 8. So in essence, we have simplified this problem into finding the last digit of 2 to the power of 2017. So one strategy that we can use here is to look for a pattern. We start by making a list of powers of 2. 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and by the time you reach 2 to the power of 5, you get 32, which repeats the last digits of 2 as what you began with. But if you aren't sure at this point, you can always generate a few more powers to convince yourself that this pattern is going to repeat at infinitum. Since this pattern will repeat every four powers, it would be advisable to look for the nearest multiple of four closest to 2017 to continue this pattern. In this case, this would be 2016. So 2 to the power of 2016 would have a last digit of 6. And if you continue the pattern from there, the last digit for 2 to the power of 2017 will be 2. You can further generalize this finding by looking at the remainder when the power is divided by 4. A remainder of 1 gives a last digit of 2. A remainder of 2 gives a last digit of 4. A remainder of 3 gives 8. And if it is perfectly divisible by 4, you will get a last digit of 6. So no surprise here that the final answer is 2. Let's look at the general pattern for last digits. When the base is 1, 5, 6 or 0, the last digits do not change no matter what powers you raise the number to. When the base is 4 or 9, like 4 squared is 16 and 4 cubed is 64, the last digit quickly returns back to 4. We can say that the pattern for the last digits have a period of 2 that is the length of the cycle before the numbers repeat themselves. When the base ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8, the last digits will have a period of 4. Like this ancient symbol 
of a serpent eating its own tail, last digits are constantly coming back to itself, like an endless cycle, because there are only that many digits to pick from. So let's extend the question. What about the last two digits of 2007 to the power of 2007? I would suggest pausing the video here to see that if you can apply the method used previously to attempt this question. Drawing the same line of reasoning from the first question, we can immediately reframe the question to look at just 7 to the power of 2007. Let's get to work and find a pattern. While it may seem daunting for last two digits, you have to have some faith that the question setter is unlikely to give you a pattern that repeats after 22 trials. In the case of 7, the last two digits quickly return back to 07 after a period of 4 powers. Hence, the correct answer is 43. Did you get it? When dealing with the last two digits, I would like to add a caveat. The table presented here looks at the pattern of the last two digits for various bases. When the base is 2, you see that the pattern doesn't repeat until 2 to the power of 22, which is like 2 squared. They both have the same last two digits of 0, 4. What is worth cautioning is that sometimes the original digits never reappear. Like in the case of 2, it never goes back to 0, 2. Similarly, if you look at the powers of 14, it begins with 14, but it never goes back to 14. The period repeats again from 96. I'm placing the detailed Excel spreadsheet of the last two digits in the info section for reference. You can look through it and see if you can spot more patterns in the last two digits. Here is a quick summary of the periodicity of the last two digits. Numbers ending with 5, like 5, 15, 25, 35, will have either a period of 1 or 2, depending on whether the number before 5 is even or odd. An even number before the 5 gives a period of 1, whereas an odd number gives a period of 2. Because the last digit for numbers ending with 2, 3, 7, and 8 repeat after 4 numbers, the last two digits will also repeat itself after a multiple of 4. In this case, it is either after every 4 numbers or after 20 numbers. Some numbers like 11, 14, 19, 29, or 31, and many more, will repeat after 10 numbers. This gives rise to an interesting family of problems where the last digit of the power affects the last digit of the final answer. You might want to consider this property in the extension problem number 2. Hint, hint. So here are some extension problems that you can try out that are similar to today's problems. Problem number 1. Find the last digit of 2009 to the power of 2007 to the power of 2005 to the power of 2003 and keep doing that until you reach to the power of 3 to the power of 1. Problem number 2. Find the last two digits of 2019 to the power of 2019 to the power of 2019. I will be posting a link to the full solution in the info section below in a few days' time. And this concludes our second video on the topic of last digits. Please leave your comments below to let me know what topics you would like me to cover. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get new alerts of new videos. Stay tuned to episode 3 on the topic of divisibility. Thank you for your kind attention and have a good day of learning.